Hello Doctor Who fans and toy collectors. This is my review for my latest figure, the fourth Doctor action figure by Character Options. Now, it's been out of the packaging a couple of times, but first I better just speak about the packaging. First of all, that picture's scary. You don't want to see that hanging about your school when you come home, when you're just about to go home. Would you? No. Uh, it's got a nice look to it, very classic feel. And of course it shows you the collect and build K1 robot, instructions on how to assemble it, and also how long that each doctor lasted. But one, one thing that did disappoint me is that it doesn't tell you the actors. It tells you first doctor, second doctor, third doctor, fourth doctor, fifth doctor, sixth doctor, seventh doctor, eighth doctor. That's about it. And it tells you about the K1 robot, which I won't go into. Uh, it's also got the holographic image there. Which only licensed products can have that look thing. Okay, so just get him out of the box. Okay, so here he is with his uh, with the waist for the K1 robot, him, sonic screwdriver, and head. And I'm just going to get him out, free him from the packaging again. It actually taken me about two days just to make this review. I've been distracted, God knows how many times by my brother. Mates and, you know, stuff. Okay, so here we are. Here's the figure in question. Okay, so let's start on detail. The head has a very good likeness to Tom Baker. Sorry about the dog's barking. Uh, it's got a nice rubbery hat. As you can see. Ooh. It's got a nice textured scarf. Which is good. Bad boy. <laughs> uh, it's got a rubbery jacket. It's basically all rubber around the torso area, just not on the arms, which are, you know, that's all right. Especially here, so you can perv on them, doctor. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, as I said, checkers over there. Green cravat. <coughs> Scarf. Again, sorry about the dogs barking. It's got a sort of Pringle uh, waistcoat underneath. It's Oh, oh! I never noticed. It's got more pattern on the other side. Ah. Never knew that. But anyway, uh, it's got its chain, and this is basically and basically these are all made from layers of PVC. For some reason, it's got skeleton and PVC on it. So yeah, so it's very nice to touch. So it is not like Tom Baker's so that. Not good. Um, the shoes are very nicely done. They look as though he's been, you know, in all the mud he's been in <laughs> in the series. And, uh, okay, so let's move on to articulation. The head can move side to side because the skull uh, wrecks the possibility, but it can, ca but it can go 360 degrees without scarf. It's got 360 degrees from the, el from the shoulders. 360 degrees from the biceps, and on my one, it's still got stiff elbow joints. Need to work that in. Probably put some lubricant on it, and of course, 360 on the hand. Um, now we move on to the waist articulation. Now, now these figures are meant to go 360 degrees because of my one, but many other people's. Uh, figures they get hindered by the jacket but, you know on my own it's leather I'm not I'm, well PVC I'm not sure if other people's Tom Baker figures have uh, PVC on it but anyway um, it's got oh it could you could do the splits as you can see because it's got a little spinny joint there which spins on there and it also a joint in there which uh, allows it to do this so yeah uh, he's got, he spins from the thighs, he's got a knee joint, he hasn't got any ankle articulation, and that's a good thing. Yeah, because if they put rubber there, as I've mainly done in this figure, but then, no, it just wouldn't work. Now we'll move on to the sonic screwdriver. Now, because my camera's rubbish, you can't actually see it very well, but... 
if you've already got one of these then just look at yours okay it's got a tiny little silver dot there and it's got some bigger black bit there and it's red along there it's got a black band around and there and the main body works made of silver now my one is undersized so I prefer to get a bit of blue tack you could do this on yours oh hell it will Sorry, my dog's at the table. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Hang on, just put the blue tack in his hand. You can keep that in there if you want. By taking it out for this review, so that means it looks... Well, still seems fresh. Okay, there's the blue tack. Pretty hideous. Until he put the sonic screwdriver in. Covers it, the blue tack. Holds it in place. And there you are, you've got a doctor with a sonic screwdriver handy. Because uh, without the blue tack, it's either too long in the hand and or too small in the hand and it'll actually just fall out. Well, if you get it right, then, you know, it falls out of the hand. Now, here's the main feature of this figure. It's got a removable head. My one's pretty easy. Oh, balls, there was no need for that. Sorry, to Topsy just grabbed it with him. Oh, and also, the scarf is removable. Sorry, you just have to look at his face. You just have to look at it. Hello, Topsy. You're on YouTube now. Yeah, well, hello. Hello, Boo Boo. Sorry, I like calling him Boo Boo. Just look at him. Yeah, he likes Tom Baker, don't you, Will? You also like EastEnders. Dun, 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 dun. When he listens to soap themes, you know something's going to happen. Yeah, that's just Will. Okay, so, um, yeah, you can have four looks, obviously, each head with or without a scarf. And, um, just put the scarf on and then put, oh, sorry, wrong head. And put the head. And because it's got a rubber jacket, you have to push it back then, push it down and twist. Mm. It's on. It's on. There we go. And this has nice little highlights in here, so it does. Unfortunately, my one's got slight paint defect underneath the nose, which sort of makes him look a bit like Hitler. But the colour on the side burns. It's not very good. It's completely different to the hair. But you can see his ears, which is a good thing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, what the hair's back. Um, oh, please, no. Oh, I need head. Keep on running about the place. But anyway, um, so yeah, pretty soon I'll be making a Doctor Who action figure adventures. I've chosen the Dalek voices, which is Dalek Idea, Batman March, uh, Cyber Planner, and of course me for my episode. It'll feature my custom Dalek, and I'll make a time machine okay so anyway oh I could do a good Tom Baker impersonation but I can wait so anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed this review and indeed from me the Tom Baker figure and a scary picture for Tom Baker uh, we say good day to you bye <laughs>